Hi, my name is Melanie Cooper, and I'd like to talk a little bit about Chaturanga for Stu's Strength series. So, um, Chaturanga is one of those poses, it's great for building up strength if you do it right, but if things are going wrong, it can cause all kinds of problems, put pressure on the lower back, pressure on your wrists, your shoulders, all kinds of things. So, and also there's a bit of a tendency, if the strength isn't there, to kind of flump down straight onto the floor, and that just doesn't help. It doesn't build up strength. It doesn't really do anything good for the body. So um, yeah, I want to give some suggestions of what you can do instead of flumping down. So um, one of the keys is to spend a little bit of time at first in your plank position, um, setting up your body for the pose. So maybe I'll talk that through. Um, in terms of aligning, you want the shoulders roughly above the wrists and then stepping the, the legs back. So if we start at the other end, I want to push back into the feet. So I've got a nice foundation in the feet. I don't want to be here forwards on the toes. So nice and solid in the feet, engage the legs, navel drawing up, shoulder blades coming down the back. So all those things, if you spend a bit of time to put all those things in position, things are going to be engaging, the right things are going to be engaging before you've started. And then the key is just to lower down as far as you can get, keeping all those things in position. So if you get to a place where you want to collapse in the upper back or hang the hips down or stick the bum up, they're all things that you can do to get out of using the muscles that need to be engaged. Just stop before you get to that point. So again, stepping back, strong in the feet, legs engaged, navel up, shoulder blades sliding back and also there's, a, there's an action in the hands as if you're trying to do that with your hands but you're keeping them still and what that does is it helps to engage the muscles down the side of the torso so that will really help to engage the right muscles so so you can see there's a lot going on in chaturanga it looks simple but it's really not so stepping back strong in the feet strong in the legs navel up shoulders sliding down the back, hands making that action, and then just lower down maybe to here and go into your up dog from there. And just gradually, slowly, slowly over time, when it feels okay, you can lower down a little bit more, a little bit more, until you get to the point where your shoulder is in line with the elbow. So your upper arms are parallel to the floor. So it's not such a good idea to go lower than that because what tends to happen then is the shoulders do this and you can be putting pressure on the shoulders in a way that's not very helpful. So staying in a nice open position across the chest. So there are a couple of other things. Sorry, it's a bit hot here in there in Koh Samui. A couple of other things that you can do to help build up the strength. One is forearm plank, so I'll quickly show you that. So you get the position, elbows, um, shoulder width apart, interlace the fingers, step one leg back and engage your banda and then step the other leg back and again make sure you have the natural curves in the spine so you're not over arching or tucking under, you just have a nice little arch in the spine. So that's a forearm plank. And then the other thing that you can do is go against the wall and do your chaturanga against the wall. And then that will really help to build up the strength very gradually. So we'll go over to the wall here. And come into the position as if you're doing chaturanga and just push against the wall. So you can choose how much body weight you want to use to, to work up to it. So for example, if you're recovering from a wrist injury or something like that and you want to build it up slowly, you can use the wall to build up that strength in everything really, the wrists and the, uh, the wrists and the shoulders. So Chaturanga is one of those poses, it's not good to rush it, take your time, think about the alignment, build it up slowly, don't be in too much of a rush to go right the way down and just take your time and yeah, it will come. <laughs>